Everyone wants a safe, warm place to live that they can call their home. Yet, in Cape Town alone, it is estimated that as many as 14,000 people may struggle with homelessness, with only 2,500 shelter beds available to accommodate them temporarily. Cape Town is facing an affordable housing crisis, with almost 370,000 poor and working class families waiting for a house built by the city. These are people who technically aren't homeless, but are likely to wait more than 15 years before receiving a place to call home. This means that every night, thousands of people face the difficult reality of finding somewhere to sleep. These people who have no homes to go to might set up structures on land they do not own or have permission to live on, making them unlawful occupiers. South African law specifically protects the rights of unlawful occupiers against evictions. We all have a right to housing. We all have a right to not be unlawfully evicted from our homes, even if our homes are only a tent or a shack. No one may be evicted from their home unless a court order allows them to be evicted after a judge has decided that an eviction would be just and equitable. Judges must consider all our personal, economic and social circumstances before deciding to order eviction. Despite this, the city of Cape Town has often adopted an approach to homelessness and evictions that is in conflict with the right to housing. This has even continued during a national ban on evictions during the COVID-19 pandemic and was described by one judge as inhumane and heartless. Despite many important criticisms it has received from non-profit organizations, social movements, international housing experts and poor and working class communities, the city has passed a bylaw called the Unlawful Occupation Bylaw, which would further criminalize people living unlawfully on land. The bylaw makes it a crime to occupy land unlawfully or organize an unlawful occupation, sell structures for an unlawful occupation, or even just transporting a person, building material, or personal possessions for the purpose of unlawful occupation. If a person does any of these things, they could be fined or imprisoned. The bylaw is inconsistent with national laws governing evictions, the South African Constitution, and international laws like the International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights. The bylaw is also being challenged in court on the basis that it discriminates against homeless people and infringes their human rights. The International Commission of Jurists and Ndifunukwazi call on the city of Cape Town to do the following. One, review the bylaw to determine how it conflicts with both national and international law. Two, meaningfully engage with the civil society organizations involved in legally challenging the bylaw. Three, publicly commit to a humane and human rights-based approach to homelessness, including by promising that criminal penalties will not be levied in bylaws relating to unlawful occupation. Four, Address the causes of unlawful occupation by, for example, upgrading informal settlements. The city must find solutions which treat all people with the respect and care they deserve and stop making laws which undermine basic human rights and the rule of law. Hashtag home is the front line. Hashtag housing, not handcuffs.